Good afternoon guys, this is a video of showing you how you can use um, watercolors. So remember you need an example of watercolor like this. Or it may be also like this one, it doesn't matter. So a cup of water uh, with water, remember because we are using watercolors and different uh, brushes, uh, diferentes brochas de diferentes formas. So you can do um, the, the details, okay? So first I like to work, remember we are going to work with a sunset, right? So first you are going to uh, humid a little bit. And of course, as I explained to you, I prefer to use a towel. I just clean them in the way I don't use a lot of napkins. So I am going to have this paper. This paper is going to be used uh, for watercolor. So this uh, paper is going to have more resistance to the, um, you know, to water. This is watercolor paper. This is used for this specific material or media. So we are going to add a little bit of water. Okay. Just a little bit and be sure you're not using a lot of water, right? So you're going to pass it over here. And after that, I you are going to get your watercolor, okay? So remember, we want to create a sunset. So right now, I am going to create a mountain first and later on the, the skies. So the sunset is going to give me the, the, the object to look more obscure because it's a sunset, right? So I am going to add um, over here because I use this so I can get water and I add water in here in the way I can create more colors if you want to or you, you know, just be sure that you are using, you know, the correct way. So you can add a little bit of water very, very, very carefully over here. So you can get different um, colors. And after you are going to begin, you know, using the watercolors and you are going to get the material. As more material you are going to add to the water, as darker uh, is going to have the darker color okay if you want uh of course we are going to clean the the brush and we are going to try it so um as more as you want to have the color to look dark or less translucent so you are going to add more and more color in here so we are going to clean the brush over here be gentle and careful okay and so i already have let me add a uh, color red in here this is orange so i am going to use also orange and be sure to clean the brush before you are going to use another color in the way you don't mix the colors this is yellow somebody talk to me so i am going to answer later on in this way you know you can have your options of the color you want and here oops i did a mistake a huge one so if something happened like this just take the napkin and just clean it okay 
things can happen. So I am going to clean the brush in here and I'm going to dry the brush and I am going to use this red because I like this red better. So remember you humid the pen the, the brush you get the color so you move around the color so you can pick and over here you are going to have red and more red okay great awesome be careful okay so i am going to begin with the painting right so first i am going to draw uh, some mountain details and remember as i ask you uh, later please be sure that you're going to use um smooth lines very soft lines in the way you can um you know you can cover it right so la van a hacer las líneas bien suavecitas ven que no estoy haciendo mucha eh, um, no lo estoy haciendo mucha presión y so you have an idea where your brochures are going to look, be okay and over here i can do another one okay Okay, and here is going to be my sunset and here I'm going to have my mountains, right? So, let's begin. So, my mountains, I'm going to use um, for my mountain brown. So, I'm going to be very, 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 very careful while I'm going to use this watercolor. And remember... If you want a darker color for other ones, just humid over here and you are going to get more and continue passing it in this palette over here, okay? And you are going to be using your watercolor colors in this way And now the ones that are far away, I am going to use black color in the way I can, you know, get the difference between over here with black. And it's going to be just a little bit. In the way you can use it for this mountain, okay? And I take a lot of there, so I am going to voy a escurrir un poco de esta manera se verá así, okay? And it's okay if the colors get combined a little bit. It's okay. You just used more color. Like my color over here. In the way I can, you know, use it. There you go. Better. So I am going to have this to dry. Remember, sometimes we need to let it dry.
and I'm going to pay attention to the uh, bottom area, okay? So the bottom area, because it's a sunset, I am going to use a dark green, okay? So I am going to add the water, and I'm going to use a little bit of water. So I am going to let it dry, so I'm going to remove this so it dry while i'm combining more colors and i'm going to use this dark green so i am going to add a little bit of water and i'm going to humid over here so i can get colors I am going to clean it. So the pigment is going to be in the water, right? So I prefer to work it like that. And now it's getting drier. So this is the result. And right now I am going to be using, you know, The green one. You can use another type of brush. So you can make your paint easier if you want to add some, you know, details with darker, um, you know, details in here, more texture. This is going to help you to create great texture. Okay. Great. And after that, we continue. So I am going to stop um, over here using the green. So let's imagine this is going to be the end of our work, right? Okay, and we are going to let it dry okay to add textures you can use this one this is one of the type of brushes you can get this type of brush pueden buscar este tipo de brocha o pincel in walmart so you can have details and also you can Clean it, you pueden limpiar. Y si le quiere añadir unos detalles amarillos, if you want to add some um, yellow details, you can do it if you want to. Okay. This is too much yellow for me, so I am going to use again the green one, okay? There you go. Better. And it's look like the when it's passing by. Okay? So, the top of our work, it may have it needs to have colors related with sunset, such as yellow, such as um, red, orange. So you can combine yellow and red to get um, the orange color, or if you have it, you can also use it. So I am going to use a smaller brush 
so I can add more details in here so I can you know make the difference between these two colors I apologize if you cannot see all everything I'm doing. The stand I box is short. I'm trying to do my best, okay? So, to refill um, the other area. So, what I like to do is to distribute the water so that I don't have a mess. And now I am going to let it dry, okay? Now I'm going to work with the top of the paper. So yellow over here, orange over here, and yellow. So while I'm working on the, uh, the with the top, um, this is going to get dry, okay? So I'm going to use red over here. And after I am going to begin using the orange because the orange is going to give me, you know, the contrast between the yellow and red so I can get more red. Let me get more red. And here I can have, you know, the There we go. And now I'm going to clean the brush. I know you are looking at, hey, Miss Rodriguez, what did you do? You're not having enough red in there. It's fine. The good thing about watercolors is that you can mix uh, different colors and you can get, you know, the result you want. Okay. After that, we are going to begin using the yellow color, okay? So the yellow is going to be over here. And I'm going to distribute the yellow over here so I can mix it. Okay? We clean the brush and we continue working with the color. In this case, it's going to be the yellow one. Okay. And you can begin. Distributing the color. In this way okay and you can clean the brush and after you clean the brush you can add different tones of orange in here to make it mixed more and you are going to let it dry okay that's what i'm saying when i am asking you to let dry your colors so now i'm going to work